What's up, Fishbox friends? Happy Halloween, happy Halloween. You see who I am. You see who I am. <laughs> Even got the UPS mask on. But uh, FedEx is about to pull up right now, so it'll be interesting to see what the FedEx guy thinks about my UPS costume. So I'm gonna set the camera down and see what's up. Happy Halloween, Halloween. what you think of my costume, bro? <laughs> I was about to say something about that, too. It's a nice job. But anyway, uh, it's just gonna be me today. Francisco's gonna be out all this week. And uh, we're gonna enjoy Halloween. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good day. I have a feeling it's gonna start getting a little bit busy because today's the last day of the month. And once November comes, I mean, psh, that's literally start of holiday season. Let's enjoy the day. Let's enjoy the week. And I look forward to doing something cool. Some candy. Fish box customers, come on in, trick or treat. All right, got the Halloween candy set up. Got some chocolate in there, and I hope you guys eat it all because if not, I'm gonna end up eating it all. And if I don't eat it all, Nolan's gonna eat it all, and he might not go to sleep until next Halloween. Whoever wins, exact weight. Gets to get the 25 bucks. So this is the monthly for October as far as amount of packages and you can see up and down, up and down. What I'm starting to realize is there's a really significant pattern, an interesting pattern that's going on here. So you can see all these peaks here. These are all Mondays. And then you can see Tuesday goes down, Wednesday a little bit up, Thursday it goes down, Friday a little bit up, Saturday down, Sunday zero of course because we're closed. And it goes up again and then down again and then up a little bit and then down and then down some more so if you got your own mailbox store you're considering having one and hiring a staff you definitely want to make sure mondays and tuesdays you definitely have more coverage on those days but you can definitely see here how much busier monday is than everything else it's almost it's almost double, so just a heads up. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? My guys, my guys. Photo. Yo, man. So this is Bloomfield here. Y'all probably saw him in the previous video. I'm gonna put his Instagram down here, but tell me about what this bike and tell me how you are associated with it. This is the Zeus bike. It's like an EBMX. Like, this is coming clutch. Like, it's ridiculous. Oh my God. I've, I've, I've taken this man to work mm -hmm. on this bike. All right, so let me know now how the front brakes. Works. The front brakes on this joint is low key a little dangerous just okay. just because they got to be replaced. Do I got a pedal to get it started or nope. can I just oh. push off? You can just push off. The throttle. <laughs> this is the future right here, bro. I can tell you right now. How you doing? Happy Halloween. There you go. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? So Halloween, is, it's about 6 o'clock. Don't have as many trick-or-treaters today. Maybe they did it over the weekend and we still got a ton of candy. In fact, I'll probably end the vlog there for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's up Fishbox friends? What's up? It is Tuesday, November 1st, the first of the month. We made another month. Oh my God, October was an incredible month. November, all you mailbox store owners, you know what that means. Make sure you stretching. Make sure you got your foam roller ready. Make sure you got your sweaters and your boots and your snow shovel ready. Make sure you're ordering salt to put outside for when the ice comes. So let's see what type of stuff we can get into on a Tuesday. Hi, um, I'm inquiring about if you have some type of maybe group package service. Um, we have a building that is going to be built um, in the spring and the mailroom will be completed after some of the uh, units have gone like first. So I was wondering if you offer some type of like group service or um, we could work out something with the, the building until it's finished construction. And how many people are you thinking? Maybe like 48 units probably. So uh, I'm going to have a conversation with them. I asked them to email me, so hopefully they'll send me something really soon. But that could be a really big opportunity. I wasn't expecting that. I'll let y'all know what happens with that, of course, but stay tuned. Hey, it's Napoleon from Fishbox. How can I help you today? Hey, um, I'm about to walk out the door and head over there. Okay, sounds good. I'll start getting your stuff ready for you. Yo, yo, Fishbox friends. What up, what up? It's Wednesday, November 2nd. 
Back in the fish box store today. It's been beautiful weather the last few days. One of the things I wanted to talk about are some things that you might want to consider for your mailbox store. So a few people have been asking me what other things besides mailbox offerings do I do I offer to the customers? And the other only other thing that I offer besides fish box mailbox store and pack and ship stuff, which we'll talk about pack and ship stuff later, uh, is iPostal. And for those that don't know, iPostal is a service that sends you leads and customers. Once something shows up, you use the iPostal app, scan it, send it to the person. It's between five or ten dollars per month per customer. So I'm going to let you know what my experience was for the past six months. But the sign up process was really easy. You go through like an hour, hour and a half training. They show you how to use the app, both the web app and the phone app. And then they pretty much send you on your way. All right. So from when I got my first payment, which was on April 13th, to six months later, October 13th, I made a total of $945. So I just wanted to let you guys know what that was like, just in case anybody was thinking about it. That was my experience. And if you have any questions, here's my email down here. Hit me up. Yo, my brother, my brother, what's up, man? What's going on, dude? I'm good, man, I'm good. Just getting ready for holiday season, bro. Like. I'm in the eye of the storm right now, bro. And another, oh, I would say, like, oh, I know. That's why I look. That's why I'm trying to call you now before I can't catch you during the holidays. She might not be able to catch me till literally next year. All right, what's up, y'all? What's up? It's about 5:45. Crunch time from 5:45. Say something to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say, please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. What is your favorite food? Mm, um, French fries, chicken nuggets, apple juice, grapes, mango, orange juice, and pizza. And pizza, okay. What's your... And pizza bagel. Pizza bagel, oh yeah, those are so good. Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? Happy Thursday. Hope you guys enjoying the day. Today's our trash day in the neighborhood slash recycling day, so I hope y'all put y'alls out as well. And so I got a laundry list of things I gotta do. Running payroll, filling out form 1583s, adding customers to the Envoy account, uh, handling tax information, responding to customer emails. I still haven't updated the vlog from last week and it goes live tomorrow. Let's get to work. So let's look at all this trash that I picked up today. I had bottles and cans and masks in here. It's disgusting. It's Napoleon from Fishbox. How can I help you today? Yeah, I'm on my way to pick up some mail. I got a flurry of activity out of you. You you there till 6.30 tonight? I'm here till 6.30, brother. Okay, I'm, I'll be showing up right before you shut down. You got it, man. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, what's up, Fishbox friends? Happy Friday. So I'm starting to get a lot of comments, a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls, people asking, about starting their own mailbox store, but specifically they wanna know like, how long does it take to get up to speed? Meaning that, how long does it take to make enough money so that you can be as successful as you wanna be? So just to set your expectations, I wanna talk about my experience with Fishbox, what I made in the first year, and how long it took me to break even. It took me about between four and four and a half years before I started making more money than I was losing. So in the very first year of Fishbox, I made $2,013. It may scare some of you people out there because you might be thinking that I'm gonna come out the gate and I'm gonna make 100 grand. To be fair, I launched Fishbox in April of 2015. So therefore, that was only the first eight months. So you have to ask yourself, is this something that you're really passionate about? Of course, you'll make more as time goes on, but keep that in mind. Thank you for calling Fishbox. How can I help you today? Are you guys able to ship it for me? It has to be USPS though, is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. You got it. You coming in today or a different day? I'll be there probably later today. You got Maybe it. A little I bit, 
I'll get all the packages that I have ready for you and I'll have you all set up so that we can mail out your package. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, Carlos? The one and only. One of the things that I wanted to do is I wanted to show customers that we have a vlog. I know a lot of them know that we have it already, but there's some customers out there that don't quite know we have a vlog yet. So what I want to do is right here, I want an iPad to be right here with the vlog playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out something right here similar to that. They can just go to that YouTube handle and then the vlog can be playing right here. Fresh out the printer. All right, there it is. Did you know we got a weekly vlog? YouTube.com backslash at get fish box and we'll just play on loop what's up fish box friends what's up it's saturday last day of the week and it's me and as you can see back there i got jonathan back hey, there what's up you too We just had a customer pick up 24 packages. So it's looking real empty in here right now. So they picked up everything besides that one there. But yeah, it's looking super empty in here now. Come Monday, it's gonna fill up because FedEx didn't even show up yesterday. And they're not gonna show up today, which means Monday is gonna be nuts with FedEx stuff. You remember where that Contra game was? Let's do that Contra yeah, game. Shoot, shoot game yeah, that game was fun, bro. I like that game. Towards the end of the day, we didn't really vlog too much today because we were playing video games. But I'm gonna hit you guys with some numbers just so you can know how we compare this week to last week. So as you know, the last two weeks we had 900 packages and this week we had 916. So that's about, uh, I don't know, maybe about a 2% increase. <laughs> I think things are definitely picking up, but I'm looking forward to like the next few weeks really, really getting crazy. So 916 packages this week, that's not bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog there and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.